Alright, chat. Shit's about to go down right now. Oh boy. What's going on? Alright. So, you're mad, and I'm a bit mad too. So okay. who's gonna explain the mad the madness first? I just don't understand why you're leaking my DMs when you're in an argument with Keffels. If you like have a problem with Keffels, that's cool, dude. But like that's between you two. What's the problem? Like, why are you leaking my shit? Cause you said that Keffels has changed and you said that Keffels was just trolling and doesn't actually think I'm like transphobic or whatever. Yeah, on that and then specific she jumps day, I didn't, on, on that she specific jumps day. on the opportunity to fucking get a four year old tweet so on a parody what, account so where does nothing that have I say to do with serious. me, bro. What the fuck does that have to do with me? Why are you leaking my shit in regards to a conversation on a completely different fucking day? Because it relates to the situation. No, it doesn't. This is a completely yeah, different does. conversation on a, a, a completely different disagreement you guys had. Wait, it's about Keffels thinking I'm transphobic. Well, yeah, because she sees like the recent tweets that you've made, the, st the other stuff that came out, and she's like changed her mind. Like, okay, maybe I think he is transphobic. Do I agree with that? No, I think you're like just being like edgy fucking tweeting or whatever. But like, that's how she feels about it. Why? What? That's insane. I mean, you literally have a tweet on your alt account where you're talking about like trans women aren't real women, but you'd still fuck the shit out of them. What is she it's supposed a joke to think about? And right under I that, I have, it's a I'd joke, fuck but like, Joe Biden. I have, I'd fuck I Joe Biden. I'd fuck. I understand like, it's dog a joke, fuckers. but like you can understand They're why she would be ran. upset about that, right? I wasn't even right? playing a kick. Wait, what? I said I can understand that you are saying it's a joke, but like you can understand why she would be upset about it, right? No, I can't because we've mm -hmm. had in-depth conversations about trans allyism in DMs and stuff like that. And she's just fucking going out of her way to attack me for no reason. She wants so me to be transphobic. So why don't you have a conversation with her about it? Why do you got to drag me into this shit? Because you dragged yourself into the shit when you went into my DMs and said that Keffels is just trolling and doesn't Because she was just transphobic. trolling you that day. You're trying to conflate a completely different conversation that happened back in May with something that's happening now. That was Because they're directly related. They're not, though. It's two completely different conversations. About me being like transphobic? She, she literally told me that day that she was trolling you. That's why I told you she was trolling okay, you. Okay, and now you know she's what upset. else it relates to? I'm trolling her on my parody account, and now she thinks that's legit, even though... But she's allowed to troll that I'm transphobic. Like, what? Like, why can she troll, but I can't? I'm just frustrated because, like, I'm getting dragged into this, and it doesn't have anything to do with me. If you have a disagreement with Keffels, deal with it with fucking Keffels, dude. Hello? Okay. So if you have a problem with Keffels, deal with it with Keffels. I don't understand why you have to leak my shit because you're upset with her. Because we were talking about her and it's directly related to her. I don't think you would mind me showing DMs of you defending your friend. What? I don't know, dude. What's so bad about what's in the DMs? Do you, are you embarrassed there, I, I, about what no, you said in the DMs? No, there's nothing I'm embarrassed like, about in those DMs. I just don't understand why you're leaking them. I explained to you why. I don't think that that's a good reason. That's what I'm saying. Okay, then I'm sorry, but that was my reason. I don't know, dude. So now what? Uh, I don't know. Do you want me to, like, delete the tweets or whatever? No, I mean, it's already out there, dude, so, like, there's no point to it. I mean, I just didn't think you would mind about me leaking something you would say publicly maybe anyways. You should, maybe you should have asked me first. Okay, then that's my bad. I should have asked you first. Okay. Okay, fair enough. All right. I don't know. That's all I really had to say. I didn't like being dragged okay. into it. Like, I understand that not everybody gets along with Keffels. I get that she, no, not everybody likes her, and that's cool, dude. Like, I have no problem being friendly I with I don't even dislike don't Keffels until up until today. I've been very nice to her. Well, you can see in how, DMs like, the, and everywhere. you can understand how I've those tweets... I've been extremely nice to her. You can understand how those tweets, now that, like, everybody knows that you're alt, and, like, you're talking about, like, what the fuck did that account say? You can understand how those tweets would be kind of sexually harassing in nature, right? Because that's what she got uh, upset about. They're jokes, and they're, it's not right, real. But they, she knows I don't want to It doesn't mean her. she has to be How comfortable with it. How does that hurt like, her you, if she you knows that it's not You can joke about real. whatever you want, but it doesn't mean she has to be comfortable with it. Like, you understand that, And right? I'm not comfortable with her fucking sending her jiggling tits in my DMs, but I wasn't freaking out calling her fucking autistic chaser, even though she so speaks again, about wanting to fuck autistics all the time. So again, talk to her about that. If you have a problem with it, talk to her about it.
Why didn't she talk to me about it instead of fucking going on her Twitter and blasting me as a transphobe to 100,000 people? I don't know, dude. Figured Why are you more her? mad at me than her? Because she... you're involving me in shit that has nothing to do with me. This is between you and she her. She involved you by, like, quote tweeting you and getting you involved in all this shit. I don't know. It just, honestly, it just kind of seemed... what? Okay. What were you it's saying? It's insane to me. That, like, Keffels is literally, like, lying about me in front of, like, thousands of people and trying to hit me when I'm down when I've done nothing to her. And so you're again, more mad at me. Her. Yeah, because I don't want to be involved in this shit. That's why. Then why did you get involved by DMing me about it? What do you mean? You DM'd me being like, oh, she's trolling. She doesn't actually think you're that transphobic. Bo Blacks, like, I'm sorry. I don't know if this is your autism, but that was a completely different day. That was a day where she literally told me herself that she was trolling you. She's not trolling today because and she's I'm mad today. And I'm trolling her today. Well, she's clearly upset about it. So what's the it. difference? And but I was clearly upset at that. So why didn't you say anything then? Like, did you, I thought you guys talked about it. We did. We did talk about it. And she said, I didn't think you're a transphobe. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, she starts calling me a transphobe for a random parody tweet that I made four years ago of something even four years ago. I didn't believe at the time at nothing on that account is reflective of so, my so own talk to her opinions. About it then. So talk to her about it then. Or don't. I can't. Like I'm blocked. She blocked me. What do you mean? I, she I, blocked I, me the second she saw that tweet. How can I, I talk to her about I, it? I, 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 don't, I don't know what to tell you then. I mean, I can tell her that you're, if you're interested in talking, I can tell her that you want to talk, but like, otherwise, like, I don't know what to say. Okay, but you're still mad at me more than Keffels. I was only mad because I was asking you, why did you leak my DMs? You explained well, it to me. And why. You explained it to me, and I'm still not happy about it. But like, it's whatever. But it at least you is. understand the reason. At least you understand the reason. I'm not trying to I mean, be malicious. I'm trying to defend myself against. Yeah, slander. I mean, I guess I understand the reason. I'm not happy about it still, but it just kind of is what well, it is. Well, I do it's feel bad that because like, I didn't think you would mind, and I should have asked you, of course. But like, yeah, if you're gonna leak, shit, I don't ask know. Me. But yeah, I don't, of I don't course, go, I don't go around leaking. There we go. I'm apologize for that, but like. <clears throat> This shit with Keffels is absolutely just ridiculous. Like, she's out to get me, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's how just... can... After all the conversations I've had with her in DMs about trans issues and a whole video I made defending her and a bunch of all this shit I've always said about trans people and how much I care about this issue with, like, human rights and everything. Like, I care a lot about it. And then, like, one little fucking account leaks that's, like, a complete troll. It's called Throbbing Horsecock. And then she just says I'm transphobic. Off what of were you doing up, that dude. that got leaked too? Like, what were you doing? I was just swi I just switched my Twitter account and it was on there. You <laughs> do realize if you scroll down, I've only tweeted on it two times in the last three years prior. To yeah, I saw leaked. it. I saw it's it. Ran it's like completely random. And you got and you and it's just so fucked up that Keffels would just be like, oh, he's transphobic. And then block me too. not even talk to me about it. Block me. You talk about me not talking to you with the DM leak and. I guess, like, because there was nothing incriminating in the DMs, I didn't think it was an issue, but that's my bad, of course. And I apologize, but, like, she fucking just blocked me and then outed me. And then when I troll back a little bit, in the same way she trolled with me in DMs and on Twitter with the transphobic shit, right? Just trolling. In the same way she does with me, I, did, I didn't think she'd see it as sexual harassment because it's literally the same shit she says to me, right? You uh, mean how she told... The what is the tweet? Let me bring up the fucking account. She said she want she Bo Bo Blacks can like fucking uh, blow backs, and then she's like, "Yeah, look at my jiggling tits and shit like that." I mean, I saw the DM. She didn't exactly and say and and the tits. the fucking account is called Throbbing Horsecock, dude. It's like <laughs> like oh and all the tweets on it have always been like over. I just. Wanted, like, she was making it a big deal, so I wanted to, like, tone it down and put it back to joke category and, like, play the character pretending that, like, she's hot. Well, you know, I'm not personally attracted to her, but, like, you know, the character just go goes ham, dude. Okay. And it, I don't see it as sexual harassment necessarily because it's, like, she knows that I don't want to fuck her. Like, she knows the context around everything in the account. It's just fucking around. Like, when she said she wants you, to, like, but, fuck autistic but, people on her but again, account. You, you can like, she trolls, you, too. But, but again, you can understand how this might make her uncomfortable, right? When you're talking about 
damn Keffel Sticks, she's one of the real ones for sure. Or you're like quote tweeting me, back off Tubby, she needs a real nine incher right now. Like you can understand <laughs> how that might make someone uncomfortable, right? Sure. And I made and, and that, she that, made that's me really up. what's happening here is she like saw these tweets where you're talking about giving her a nine incher and it made her uncomfortable. Well, is isn't me. It's oh my god. It's supposed to it, it is you, but you're doing it as a character. Yeah, I don't actually have a nine inch or want to fuck her. <laughs> and she knows know that. that. Like, why can't? And she's a troll, too. Like, if if this was like is, someone who was super serious all the time, like, the thing like is she you, you, started beef with me and then I decided to troll a little but, back but like thing, she just did with me last that, month. But the thing you have to understand about jokes is like, yeah, you can make whatever jokes you want, but like the recipient of the joke doesn't always have to like like it. Right. Okay. Like you guys have made jokes that I don't fucking like. I mean, obviously. Yeah, and you've made jokes deal, that but, but, other people don't like, and they've yeah, leaked it and that's DMs fine. like Goth Mommy can get it or whatever. Yeah, I so mean, like, like, and, that, and that's fine. I'm just saying, like, that's where she's coming from. She doesn't. She didn't appreciate. I understand her. why she's upset. Okay, I'm upset at her for calling me a transphobe and like doubling and tripling down. Okay, well you've And then my response is to make a joke. Isn't that a better response than like going ham on my main and calling her a piece of shit? I mean, didn't you kind of me, do that me joking you, like, back on an alt account with like barely any followers? Isn't that Kef like a better alternative? Keffel sending random unsolicited DMs about blowing out backs and sending So you like you did call her out though. Yeah, afterwards. But but you did eventually call her out. Yeah, so, because she kept pushing and saying I'm sexually harassing her. First she calls me transphobe, then she says I'm sexually harassing her. Of course, after a while, I'm gonna like push back. Okay. And what did what did I do for her to start going after me? Make a tweet when I didn't even know she existed on an alt account with no followers. Yeah, I don't know. So um, like, I mean, I guess you can decide who. I, like... I just I just think this is between you two, and like I can tell her if you want to talk to her that you're willing to talk, but like that's it. I just. This is not between you, me, and her. This is just... I mean, clearly she's just being, like, disingenuous because she knows my feelings on trans people. I've talked about it. I'm, like, so openly pro-trans in every way. And just to take this little thing and just diminish it, it's just, like, it's fucked up. She knows what she's doing, and I don't respect her, and I don't want to talk with her. And that's okay, fine. Fair like, enough. She then... blocked me, and I blocked her. It's done. Fair enough. That's she's it, a piece then. of shit, in my opinion. But... Okay. I do apologize for uh, leaking the DMs. So, yeah. Okay. But, uh, you know, I didn't mean anything malicious towards you by it. I was just saying, like, she by her own. Maybe I should have I just get, I just get genuinely frustrated. Throwing. I'm, I'm going to give it to you 100 right now. And I'm not uh, necessarily saying you're doing this. I, but, like, it just seems like anytime, like, Keffels does anything, everybody looks at me like, well, what are you going to say about it, tipster? What are you going to do about it, tipster? And I'm not her fucking daddy. So it's like... I don't, I don't understand this, like, bullshit of, like, anytime Keffel says anything or does anything, people dislike it. It's like, well, tipster, what do you got to say about it? Like, it's annoying. And that's why I look at this situation. I'm like, okay, I, I can't, like, not say anything anymore, all right? Because it just happens every fucking time Keffels says or does something that people don't like, and then I'm the one that gets dragged into it. It's not my problem. Well, I'm not, I, I don't police what she says. She's her own I person. wasn't telling you to address anything in the tweet. I was bringing it up as an example of her saying she's not trolling when she... Or she is trolling, but I can't troll. Yeah. But maybe I should have brought up a different example. I just didn't think you would mind, but that's my bad, and I should have asked you first. All right? Yeah. It's all right, man. It's, it's good. <sighs> But you can understand my frustration with that, right? The yeah, same thing can you understand same, mine? Yeah, yeah, I can. The Thank same you. thing happened with, like, the AP thing, right? Like, when she did the whole stupid telling her kid to say the N-word thing. Every, like, a bunch of people looked at me like, well, are you going to say something? It's like, well, I wasn't even there when that happened. Why would I say anything? And this is the same sort of thing. Like, again, I get that everybody doesn't like Keffels. And I get that people aren't happy with the fact that I'm friends with Keffels. But the reality is we're friends. And that's not changing. Okay. I don't. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So I'm now I'm looking at her DMs and she says, because we did have a little bit of a conversation from like the May uh, thing with the transphobe. She said, sad you can't give me a fair shake. What? She's insane, dude. I think she's insane. She's going after me for it's so unprovoked. 
And, and I told her, like, yeah, I, it's not me not wanting to give you a fair shake. It's just I don't feel like I want to talk about this on stream, right? And then she, oh, my God. She's just so, like, wishy-washy. She knows my opinions. She wants me to be transphobic. It's insane. It's so malicious. Yeah, I, I think... What probably happened is she has a real gripe with like other people in the commentary community. And because you're like part of that community, maybe you get like you catch strays or whatever. Like I understand where she's coming from with some of this stuff, like the tweets that are made on the alt account. Like I can understand why those tweets made her uncomfortable, but like, I want to put it on the record here. I don't think you're transphobic. I think that you've said some really yikesy shit on that account, but I don't think you're transphobic. I just think you're too edgy for your own good sometimes. That that account doesn't say anything that I truly believe. It was just like know, me making that. jokes. I know that, but it's like it's like the it. But, but why are you like I don't, equating I don't, I don't, I don't it to me? Break. The only thing that's related to me in that account is I typed it. You know. Yeah, I I don't want I don't want to bring up old shit, but like yeah, it's. I don't Wait, know. what old shit? Was well, me say, being edgy? Well, yeah, a li little too edgy for your own good. Like you've had problems in the past where people have dug up old stuff and they've like like Black Lives Matter song and stuff that's, like that. That's what I was referring to. Yeah. 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 Well, because like some of these tweets happened after the BLM song. Yeah, some of it happened around that time too. Yeah. But so like, you, so you uh, understand why it's like okay, maybe, maybe you haven't really learned from that situation. What? I mean, I'm asking the question. I'm just begging the question. I'm not publicly broadcasting this shit to like millions of people. The random tweets from like I mean years ago, and you, you know, everyone you knows didn't I have like a BLM wet... song to like bunch of people. Yeah, me, yeah, exactly. So I'm not tr so I'm not trying to be legitimately hateful. I just like being edgy for fun. Yeah, I don't think in you're a in, in, in 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 spaces where no one will get offended or genuinely hurt by it. Okay. Yeah, like I say the n word in private, like. But I say it in places where no one will get offended. And it's not that often. Like, I'll admit that right now. Like, okay. it's just, like I care about people's feelings and I care about, like, the progressive social culture, which is why I, like, comment on it and give my opinion. You know, I made that tweet saying, like, LGBT indoctrination is not real. And I genuinely believe that and all that, right? But sometimes yeah, I, I just want to goof off on, like, an account, like, once ever, like, how many times did I tweet on that account total? Like 20 times in the past like decade? Like Yeah, when I found out not, about it, I, I was I able really to scroll, feel like I was able to scroll all the way me. to the beginning out of it because you don't tweet on it very much. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, the account primarily existed for me to follow blocked accounts. I didn't uh, even know I thought it was funny when I found out about it, and I was like, I had the account blocked because you were like fucking with me on, on uh, that account. I don't even remember blocking it, but obviously I did. Yeah, it's funny. It's just whatever. I'm just trolling, you know, and it's like, and I'm glad, I mean, the account was like meanest to you, I guess. I always say it's like, what the fuck happened to this guy? So I'm glad you understand and like so many people understand, but it's like, you know, my sense of humor has always been like absurdist, even with like the talk about the allegations and let me speak and all that. Like, obviously mm -hmm. it's not rooted in any like social issue, but it's still like me, like, going ham and going nutto like I, I i just think it's funny to be like blunt and nutto and i yeah. personally laugh at it but if i'm gonna do it in an edgy way i'll do like dude do you like do you it's not like i do this constantly like people are trying to make at me out to be like creep show art or something like that's no the i don't think fucking alt somebody I in have. my chat said that earlier and i was like no he's not fucking creep show art he had a fucking alt account that he was a little too edgy on that's it <laughs> this is not creep show art like you're stalking people on the account or whatever the fuck Don't. so yeah i mean Don't. yeah so that's why i'm upset i mean and hopefully you do forgive me because like i did not think i genuinely just didn't think you would mind because it's not like you said anything secret like i feel like everything you send those dms are stuff you'd say publicly too right like in a, um, in yeah, a back I mean, and I mean, forth with me and replies. Yeah, I mean, there's not. What did I say? She's trolling you, bro. Like the whole time. Okay, that's fair. Don't think it's funny, but it's trolling nonetheless. Wouldn't signal boost anything calling you transphobe? Uh, because yeah, the, okay, I'm remembering this now. You were upset with me because I I retweeted a tweet from Keffels and you interpreted it to be about you, and the original tweet was not about you. 
Yeah. I d- yeah. And I didn't even bring up that context of that conversation because that's like even more like private than what I, uh, you mm-hmm. know, showed. It's, it's just so like, I was just thinking of like what you said. I wasn't, you yeah. know. But, but, yeah, I don't uh, know. There, there's nothing bad in it. I just don't like the idea of like just putting my shit out there, like with just completely like unprovoked. Because again, it felt like it, I was being dragged into something that didn't have anything to do with me. But I'll, I'll get over it. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, I I think it's relevant. I didn't think it was random, but, uh, you know, I think we know each other's perspective on that, man. But yeah, dude, I am just genuinely upset. It's like so disheartening, too, because like I wasn't trying to like hate on Keffels, like all, you know, Augie and Nick, they all hate on Keffels. They all like shit on Keffels and all this shit. I'm not as like in tune with her past, so maybe I'd be more harsh with her if I did. But I was always trying to be, like, nice and cordial in DMs. Like, I never wanted to be friends with Kevils, but I never, like, wanted to, like, be enemies or go after her either. Whenever people call her her dead name, like, I hate that shit. I fucking... You, consistently, you'll see, like, if it happens on my YouTube and I see it, I remove the comment. If it happens on my Twitter, I hide the reply. I've been, like, nice to her. And then she just takes this, like, little thing that has nothing to do with her. And it's on an account that's a complete joke. I was pro-trans even back then. And just twists it into me being transphobic. Like, what is this shit, man? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, that's that's a her question, man. But again, you're not really willing to talk to her. So I, I, I don't really know if you'll ever get an answer for that. Um, I am willing to talk to her, but she blocked me. Okay. Well, like I said, I can, I can ask her to unblock you. But I mean... I mean, if she wants to talk to me, she can. But I feel like I've said everything I want to say. Right? But like... Mm-hmm. You can't say that like, oh, I should have talked to her about it when she blocked me. Well, I, I mean, when I said that, I didn't know that, though. Yeah, yeah, but you just said it like just now, right? Like, I don't know. Well, no, I didn't say that right just now. I said it earlier. Would you be willing but, to talk to her right now if she was down? Uh, Sure, right now in the stream, yeah. Uh, Let me message her. Nip it in the bud. All right. I just sent her a message. Anyway. But uh, if she doesn't want to talk, I'm perfectly fine with that, too. Like, I'd, I'd just... All right, she's responding. It, Give it, me yeah. a second. Otherwise, how how's everything else going with you, man? Uh, It's been pretty good. I mean, uh, it's been pretty fine. Cool, um, cool man. I was going to work on a video today, but I got a little distracted by this. Uh, what are you working on? If you don't I mind I want to do a Twitter versus on the Nick Merck stuff. Oh, okay. What do you think about, about what do you think about while, Nick Merckx? But... What's your take on it? I think mm, I don't know his true opinions, but I think that his initial reply that got him banned from COD, like uh it needed more context to say definitively if he's like trans being transphobic or homophobic, right? And I think uh COD definitely jumped the gun on that. Um So yeah, but I don't know what his true beliefs are, but like that tweet of like responding to like a riot uh outside an elementary school and saying let's keep the kids out of it like you know he could be saying let's keep the kids out of like the riots you know like right. it doesn't necessarily mean we got to keep kids out of lgbt or whatever yeah kind of, um, well kind of my take on it uh i don't know if you saw my video on it but i basically said something along the lines of I don't think he's a hateful person. I think he's coming from like a place of ignorance on the situation. And I think that if somebody took the time to have a conversation with him, he can see why what he said is harmful because I don't think he realizes that there's a lot of people who are legitimate bad faith actors who make that same argument to lean into the whole gay people and trans people are groomers. Right? So I think if somebody took the time to have a sit down with him and explain to him, this is why what you said contributes to harmful narratives. I think he might see a a different perspective, but I don't think he's a hateful person. Yeah. And uh, I think the discourse around it is just so toxic from both sides, like uh, quartering saying cods pro grooming. And then like Casey Tron saying that like he's a transphobic homophobic piece of shit. Like, I, I was thinking for, like, a full day on whether I wanted to cover it or not, but just because it's, like, so polarizing, and I don't want to, like, necessarily be involved in that, but... Yeah. Uh, As a side note, she said she's down to talk. She's going to take a quick smoke break real quick, but I'm going to add us to a group DM. All right. <sighs> this has been an interesting day, chat. <laughs>
All right, what's up, All Black? She'll be here when she's here. I'll let her know I added. Oh, I think she's already here. Um, Apples? hold on, just one sec. Sure. Hey, what's up, everyone? Howdy. <clears throat> um, I thought I would offer Bo Blacks and you the opportunity to kind of talk because obviously, like, there's some tension there. So uh, I figured, why not just like have you two get together and have a conversation? And by the way, oh, sure. uh, Clara, this is we we are live right now. Just a heads up. Oh yeah, I know. Okay. Um, Just want to make sure. No, I really appreciate it. I wanted to talk to Boblox. I feel, I feel like a lot of our issues come down to a misunderstanding. And Twitter I've is such never a had any issue with you until literally today when you called me transphobic. You were mocking when me you for know drug I'm addiction not. like just the other day. It was a month ago and it was when you were calling me transphobic. If I remember that interaction correctly, it was me taking a jab at your friends. Yeah, you were calling me and my friends transphobic. And then you said it was a troll and a joke, and I'm like, okay. Well, it, but star it started out as a misunderstanding of, like, a tweet being retweeted from Keffels that you thought, for some reason, was about you, and it wasn't about you. It was about a situation involving a trans creator. I did not story. think it was about me. So I responded well, when to I it retweeted being like, that, who I don't mean to cut you off, but when I retweeted mm -hmm. that, you literally DM'd me asking me, why did you retweet a tweet calling me transphobic? And that's the tweet because I, I responded to Keffels asking who it was. And then she alluded that she was talking about me and my friends. And then that's when I thought she was talking about me and my friends. And that's when I DM'd you. Initially, I was just curious who she was talking about just generally because I saw it on my timeline. So I can explain. Um, just let me get back in for a sec. I can explain the context because like when you initially responded, I was kind of on guard because the last time that you um, immediately asked, like, name names, you were talking to Tipster on the stream when Tipster announced that he was leaving the commentary community. And it seemed like you were trying to, like, you thought that I was talking about your friends because you wanted to, like, start some sort of drama. That's at least how I interpreted it immediately, so I was just defensive. Okay, but I didn't think it was about... But then you, like, implied that... It was about me and my friends, so of course I end up thinking that afterwards. Like, you let your fear become true by already assuming that that was the case. I mean, yeah, I do think your friends are transphobic. I'll stand by that. Okay. But do you think I'm transphobic? I thought that tweet that you made was transphobic. <clears throat> uh, that account is like, I've tweeted on it, I think, 20 times over the last 10 years. And it's like, I think the account used to also be called Motherfucking Mark and other shit. And I just want to, like, I don't know. The account ba basically exists for me to follow, like, the blocked accounts uh, for my Twitter versus thing. And uh, I don't know. I just wanted to make, like, random tweets, like, as, like, a really, like, uh, horny character or whatever. It wasn't, like, legit. And I had, like, two followers. So... I don't know, especially after the conversations we've had in DMs where I've talked about uh, supporting trans people. I literally tweeted out that LGBTQ indoctrination isn't real. I've made entire YouTube videos t saying that like being transphobic is just as bad as being racist, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And all this shit. And then you see one little tweet four years ago on an alt account I never use of me completely playing a character saying nothing that I actually believe, just me going nutso. Okay, and I'll I'll concede to that, that I didn't see that the tweet was four years old. Like, obviously, people change and grow over time. I wasn't I also, even transphobic back then, though, but... I also think it's just kind of like, it's kind of a cop-out to, like continuously respond in a character when everyone knows it's you and no one knows that you're playing a character. How how does nobody know I'm playing characters? Obvious I've said it when it got leaked and like the account's called Throbbing Horsecock and it's saying like the most ridiculous shit like I'd fuck Joe Biden. That's the tweet right under the trans uh, tweet by the way. Like you really think I, mean, I want to fuck I don't Joe know Biden? The, I don't know the lore on this. I didn't see the fuck Joe Biden. I didn't see that tweet. It's right under the the trans tweet, though. I was I was out all day. I wasn't like browsing the account and like 
digging up dirt She's and probably doing just research seeing people on tweet out the screenshots and stuff. But then you yeah, called I'd... me transphobic and blocked me immediately. Don't you think that's like, especially after the conversations we had and all the stuff I've said that's pro trans, don't you think that's like kind of jumping the gun like extremely? If you just see no. one random tweet from an alt account that's four years old. No, and, because uh, versus based on all your of friends, the evidence I of me. Honestly, didn't know how much I could trust you or how sincere you were being. Like Augie is a he's very transphobic. Like this isn't contestable. He's done and said and defends heinous shit. Guilt by association is it's just so dumb. Which is why I don't like well, I would stir for anything that you do, right? Well, I would agree. Like guilt by association is dumb. You were defending them, saying that your friends aren't trans. I don't think Augie or Nick are transphobic, but I can understand maybe why you would come to that conclusion. That's like a conversation that, uh, you know, I, I don't want to speak for them, you know, but I genuinely don't think they're transphobic. But I, I can't, like, defend yeah. everything they've ever said either because I just don't know. I'm not, like, familiar with it. I'm not them. But I just know what they've said in private and stuff like that and, and, and in, you know, what I see and stuff. And I don't think they're transphobic. Like, literally, Nick goes out of his way to make sure that he, like, says the right pronouns for everybody, even if he dislikes them. He hates Jalen, but he always calls her she, you know? And he, I think he's always called you she, and I think he's mocked people for calling you he or by your dead name. So I will give him credit for that because I do remember a conversation that, uh, or rather a tweet that Nick put out back when people were initially critical of Keffels. Uh, he put out a tweet, something along the lines of, I hate when we ever, we criticize Keffels, uh, all these legitimately transphobic fucking people come out. And I had the same sentiment because it's true. Like, back when we were critical of her, any time we would say anything negative of Keffels and it wasn't about her being trans or anything, all these like legitimately hateful fucking people would use that to bolster their transphobia. And it was like really fucking annoying. It's crazy, and this is, yeah. this is part of the problem though, with being really neutral about different communities, right? Like if you're just like, you know, I don't necessarily agree with what this creator is saying. Um, and you don't take a stand against it, even if that creator is being explicitly transphobic and encouraging it, you're going to let that audience into your audience and they're going to do that. They've actually been leaving because I've been making videos that are pro-trans, like the uh, the Sunny V2. Oh, yeah. I made a video on Sunny V2, okay. lost a lot of subs off that. I made a video against Synthetic Man's transphobic okay, and let homophobic. Okay, let me clarify it. Let me clarify I wasn't talking about you or your audience, but I was specifically talking about... Um, like Augie's audience, Nick's audience, um, not Nick's audience. One of like the worst ones has got to be uh, Tom's audience, right? Because like you look at his channel and like some of his biggest videos, he's just like constantly referencing Kiwi Farms. He won't say a single bad thing about Kiwi Farms. So like you go into the comment sections on like any of his video about me and it's just literally full of people complaining that he won't dead name me because he's appealing to that audience so like tipster earlier in this conversation before you came in said it's annoying whenever you do something that everyone is like oh what's your thoughts on that tipster would you agree on th with that like people shouldn't be like getting on tipsters ass for stuff you do no i mean for sure so yeah, then why are you getting I on my ass for audiences of my friends and I don't think she's getting I'm on your ass right now. I think she's, I think she's of explaining Tom's oh, no, no. audience and Nick's she, audience and Augie's audience. I don't think I she's getting on your ass. Your she's account. explaining her reasoning as to why she feels the way. Yeah, she but feels I don't. I don't understand audience. how my friends' audiences having transphobic viewers outweighs all of the other pro-trans shit I've said. She's not talking like why about do I you, like though. why do I? But, but no, she is talking about the reason she called me transphobic off the horse tweet. And then she's like, I, she literally said, I can't trust you. And this is the reason why, like, I can't trust you when you say you're pro trans or whatever. You Isn't can see, you, though, you can see, right, that how it would make someone suspicious if you're saying, like, I can't tell if the people that I associate pretty closely are or aren't transphobic. I can't defend their actions one way or another. 
However, my actions don't reflect well, I don't, it's that. It's because you're not but, saying any specific actions of them, and I don't have an encyclopedia in my head of everything Augie and Nick have said, but genuinely, I don't think they're transphobic, and nothing I've heard, I've personally seen them say, publicly or privately, indicates they're transphobic. So you'd have to give me an example. I mean, I will say, like, Augie's definitely said some pretty sussy shit on his Rumble streams. So, I, I will well, say I that much. Seen that. Yeah, I don't know if you watch his Rumble streams or if you like partake in. Those, I only like... watch his streams that I'm on, so no, probably okay. not. Yeah, he said some pretty sussy shit on his Rumble streams. Like they were their their intention was like to mock me because I was talking about like the nominal Naomi like uh, trans breastfeeding thing, but they were making a lot of like comments that could be interpreted as transphobic during that stream. But um, yeah, Kefels, so you do see how your like reasoning for calling me transphobic is like. It, from my point of view and from probably everyone else's point of view, it's just like so she even conceded like, on that. She said she didn't even realize the tweet was like four years old or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I didn't understand any of the context from I mean, if stuff. you were legitimately concerned, as Tipster said before you joined this conversation, why didn't you just DM me about it instead of blocking me and then calling me a transpho? It seems like really extreme to do that. Because I don't know how you're going to react. Like um, in the course of all of this, you ended up leaking all of Tipster's DMs. Like, not all of them. That Just seems like a pretty extreme reaction as well. Yeah, when and you when... call me an ex a sexual harasser and a transphobe, of course I'm gonna get upset. Like you say, you don't know what my reaction would be if you DM'd me. So you assume that my reaction would be better if you blocked me, called me a transphobe, and then followed up by saying I'm a sexual harasser. Like, yeah, I'm gonna the, stand. I'm gonna stand by it that that was that was really creepy. Like consistently doing that kind of thing, understanding that it's a character now, I feel a bit better. But I don't know how I was supposed to understand. I thought you were just like, you just had a weird alt. No, because I, I don't mean, know. Look much at the hit. About, I don't yeah. know the history. I I don't know any of the history of any of it. I just saw like the tweets because then people were talking about it. Maybe you shouldn't have tweeted about it if you didn't know anything about it. See, I feel like that's I was just trolling true. back, you know, like how you've trolled in the past, you know. And I thought, you know, because you went aggro on me, and I'm like, okay, how do I respond to this? I could get angry. You blocked me. I can't talk to you about it. Why not just play into the character a little more and like kind of let you know it's a joke, like hint, hint, wink, wink. Like I don't actually have a nine inch cock and want to fuck you, you know. Okay, well, so I didn't know. that was my I, approach. But do do you think? Can, can I ask you a question, Bo Blacks? So like, obviously, yeah. you're upset with like she said that like you know you were sexually harassing her or whatever, and I can understand why those tweets would make her feel uncomfortable, a hundred percent. Um. Do you think it's kind of like fucked up to kind of like turn it around and say, well, like she was harassing me. She sent me like a video of her jiggling her tits when it's like it's a meme about her like Im imitating. Yeah, but mine's a meme bat. too. But mine's like you, but too. but you can understand how like okay, she's like saying I'm sexually harassing her, and then you flip it around and do the same thing. You can understand how that's kind of fucked up, right? Yeah, it is kind Wait, of weird. Like responding she to made an sexual messages to me and say this that's isn't not sexual. It's, it's, it's a meme. A sexual it's a meme message. of her impersonating Rouge the Bat. I'm not even into dudes. That's... Like, I was literally like making a joke about jiggle physics in Sonic Adventure Two. I was trying to like connect with you in some way because I always thought that you were cool. But I didn't know how to connect with you, and I think, okay, wait, I was talking about Sonic on stream once, and then someone in my community made a meme. I'm going to try and bridge the gap here because I know you like Sonic. Well, I was trying to meme with you on that account, too. Like, I'm not but I like... didn't I didn't know about the horse thing, like and then responding to like the accusation, which is are, are we fucking or not? That's just dude. Also, if, if... the accusation was I'm transphobic. And then I said we on the alt account in character women can't keep the answer straight i refer to you as a woman wouldn't that answer that i'm not transphobic i think the issue is that you're assuming that people know what you know well not everyone knows exactly everything yeah, i mean like a lot of people didn't even know this alt account existed until you accidentally leaked it on stream so like there's a lot of, yeah, of that's there that like people weren't but why to. would she accuse me of being transphobic without looking into it 
And she assumes I know a bunch of things as well. Like I knew that like, oh, you were joking about jizzle, jiggle physics and not like trying to I mean, to, to be fair, to be fair, that, that, that tweet is very, very like the DMs that you leaked about that. It's very clear what the intention is there. And I think my tweets are very clear as well. I feel like if you were to show any person that account without giving them the context that you just gave us on this stream, they would not know what they were looking at. Then why, when I tweet out the jiggle physics thing, without giving the context of you saying it's not a joke, everybody thinks it's sexual harassment as well? It literally goes both ways. Be- because you're... Part, and like your audience is cross pollinated with Nick and Tommy. Yeah, you got to understand. Tom's there's like a lot of people who follow you that they already don't like her already. They have like and, preconceived notions against her. And, so no matter and, what you and, say against her, that's negative. They're just gonna be like, yeah, Bo Black's call and her Kevl's out. And Kevl's audience you know? is cross pollinated with trans allies and stuff. And I don't think that's wrong. But saying I'm a transphobe in front of like an audience of <laughs> primarily trans pro people, it's really damaging. It literally all the arguments you're making towards me can be applied to Keffels equally, if not more. Right, so. and I'm not trying to like attack you. I'm just trying to like explain to you. You can understand why these things can be interpreted this way. That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to like make personal attacks at you or like fuck you, Boblax or anything. I'm just trying to explain it to you. Like this is why these things can be interpreted in these ways. Yeah, like but literally, it was... a- you went after me before I even made those responses to you on the alt account because of a tweet that I made four years ago. It went at me unprovoked when I've never, ever, ever, ever even, like, said anything mean to you before besides, like, the coke thing when I thought you were calling me transphobic, which we we uh, discussed in DMs. Yeah, so it's no. It's really I, out of the blue and kind of fucked up, in my opinion, for I you to instigate this. I don't think it's fucked up, and to, to be call fair, me transphobic? Like, the situation was instigated by you in the first place. No, it wasn't me two four years ago. Not four years ago before I even knew you because this started back when I made the tweet about Euphoria Tori and you were asking me to name we resolved it in DMs, right? So, like, when I see that that screenshot, and I wasn't looking for the year on it, I just saw that it got leaked. I wasn't, um, I wasn't like doing some big investigative hit piece to try and take you down i don't think this is going to really affect you in any way um i was really just hurt like i i thought you just lied to me because you're saying like oh i'm not transphobic my friends aren't transphobic and then i see this on your alt account and like i immediately assumed you just made the alt account look really fucking weird so no one would assume it's you no, it was me being bored because I had that account to tra- uh, track block Twitters and uh, I was just bored and wanted to like be silly, basically. Like all of those like, statements on them, there are so like ludicrous, like to think anybody to think any of those statements are legitimate. is just like it's kind of nutty. Yeah, and it's like. There's been other incidences in between this that really did sour my perception of the whole thing. Like you trying to like compare getting a tattoo to gender affirming healthcare. And it's Yeah, they're both major alterations to the body. Obviously one there's of, differences. One of them is cosmetic and like, another one is treatment for gender. Yeah, but the thing is some it's a, that's such a complex situation. Yeah, and I feel, I feel like I feel like a lot of the people and it's funny enough, I actually thought about like at some point maybe inviting you on stream so we can have like a serious conversation about it, Bo Blacks, because I feel like a lot of the people who take the stance that you do, they don't actually know how the process works. Like, I think they think that kids can just go into a doctor's office and say, hey, I'm a girl now. Give me HRT. And it doesn't work that way. Yeah, I don't think it works that way either. It's a, a nuanced discussion. But I say like. I've also said that, like, I think LGBT indoctrination is uh, not real. And I, and I, people have responded under that tweet and I've clarified what I meant, which is that, like, I think that um, before making such a major life permanent decision, uh, they should be over 18 because then they have, like, uh, you know, they can, like, think it through and be 100% sure, you know, just like it's a big step, like marriage is a big step or, you know, what have you. So I just think. 
Yeah, maybe think, like it's a little too early to do it as a kid. Like one of the problems though with that, like for instance, I started my transition when I was 16. Um, if I were to just if I were to wait, I would have had to end up doing a lot more surgeries than I eventually had to do uh, because I would have completed male puberty. So if I already knew I was trans, everything worked out. I'm like 13 years into my transition and I have no regrets. If I were to have to wait, it would have ended up making my transition a lot more difficult. Yeah, that's the purpose of things like puberty blockers and stuff like that. Like that's, that's I, why they do that. Like in an honest conversation, because it is a difficult conversation. Like I definitely think that there should be like a cap on the earliest that you can start hormones. Um, because for instance, I've heard that like people who start before um, before puberty starts in the beginning have problems having orgasms as adults, which I think is really weird. And sometimes they don't have enough like penile tissue to end up doing sexual reassignment surgery. Um, there are all like there are alternate alternatives to it obviously but it's like such a deep conversation it when is. i hear yeah um people can't like get past the first hurdle of saying that minors can go under these processes to begin with that i never get to that point mm -hmm. there's also like the common like misconception that we see like a lot of people especially on the far right talking about how like oh these kids are like the term they use is mutilating their genitals as children and it's like that's not happening that that's not actually happening. And some of the most outspoken advocates for trans youth, they're not even advocating for that. So it's like really crazy to see like these narratives being pushed for things that aren't actually taking place. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, but I feel I like, think... you know, my opinion on trans people, like pretty well from all the pro stuff I've said, like in DMS and publicly and all that too. Like, I don't know why you would take that and think I'm transphobic versus thinking I'm, like, just uninformed on the topic. Um, I, I think it really, I don't want to do guilt by association. It really does come down a lot to that. Um, because, like, obviously, like, you have friends that have a lot more transphobic opinions than you who would disagree with the positions that you have. And yeah. because it's all, like, the same community. The audience is like so intermingled that whenever you end up, whenever a trans person would end up getting into some sort of argument with anyone in the commentary community um, in a negative way, there would be like gripers and shit in their replies. And it's not necessarily anything that you did. It's just like the laissez-faire attitude of a lot of people in the commentary community that makes it so this happens. And then those people will get equally as mad when I say something like pro trans. Like I can't like I'm not trying to cater to any specific audience. I'm just saying what I think on Twitter. And obviously when For I say sure. something in a YouTube video, it's way, way, way more like um uh like researched and definitive. Like Twitter, I just kind of just throw out like kind of opinions I have for the sake oh, of starting yeah. discussion or whatever. But on YouTube, I'm very much like uh firm in everything I say. And I uh, and, and my YouTube audience I mean, it's literally like multiple times bigger than Augie and Nick's. And it's like, you know, it's it's not all the same audience. But no, regardless um, I, of all that, it's just like I've really appreciated it because like of all of the people um, I've mentioned so far, you've been like the most um, open, like the most receptive person to actually talking to me. You've made videos where I'm you actually say something positive about me where if I do anything anyone likes in that community, they're never going to actually mention that because they hate me so much. Yeah, and, I, and you say you appreciate that, which I believe, but then you go and jump to the conclusion that I'm transphobic instead of DMing me. I think it's just like it. I have so much distrust around that community because of the way that I'm treated and because of how the audience ends up intermingling with the far right that it was easy for me to jump the gun. I didn't. I am sorry. I didn't okay. know that you. I appreciate using that your apology. Like that. Um, um, and hopefully you do understand that, like that account was just a joke, and I was just playing into it because I felt like after you blocked me, like that was kind of the only 
way I could do it that wasn't like harsh or whatever. I don't know. I was just yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm also trying to help people realize that like who when the account leaked, a lot of people are like, "Oh, this is real opinions." But through those yeah. replies, I'm like helping no. people realize, "Hey, it's just a joke." You're and I'm probably also just... not going to tweet on that account ever again. Josh, uh, you're just now. like me. You're literally just like me. You don't even understand. You remember like the fucking Catboy Ranch account? You remember like all the uh, drama? I know there was like a drama around Catboy Ranch and shit, yeah. Yeah. Um, whenever they pull up old tweets from that account, people don't understand that that entire account was a bit where I was playing a character and they assume it's like 100% what I earnestly believe, which sounds fucking unhinged. Yeah. Yeah, and like with me, it's like so obvious too. So you kind of made the same mistake that everyone was making towards you. Yeah, I've. This is. I'm really glad that I ended up talking to you about this. Yeah, I think I think what's important also for like Bo Blacks to understand. I think Bo Blacks is like one of the most reasonable people in the commentary community, which is why he's willing to have conversations like this. But you got to understand from like Keppel's perspective, like there's so many people for the past like couple years or so that have been up her ass about every little thing that she does. She's got like Kiwi Farms coming after her. She's got the commentary community coming after her. She's got people oh, from yeah. the left coming after her. Like everybody swings at her constantly. So you can understand why somebody who's in that position would be super fucking defensive, right? And Weefy has Yeah, been, but like, like the, the thing is like, with that tweet, I didn't even go after her though. It just existed and it happened to get leaked. And then you're like punching me while I'm down. If it, like, makes I didn't you even go. If, I didn't even provoke you. If it makes you feel any better, Bo Blacks, when Clara and I first started talking, she didn't instantly like trust me either. She was super reserved with me as well. It took her a while to realize that okay, he's not like them. You know what I mean? So well, there's a difference between being reserved and being like. Uh, you know, yeah. accusing somebody of transphobia. Like, I'm reserved of Keffels, well, but I'm not, like, going out there and saying she's grooming kids or, like, whatever the fuck other people I say. I mean, there's obviously, like, a... I think that was one thing that you misunderstood with, like, um, that tweet that I made where it was, like, a really vague tweet because I... There was a discourse going on on trans Twitter and I did not want to directly get involved, so I didn't want to name who it was about. But I think um, maybe you're just like a really like blunt, honest, you say exactly how you feel about a given situation. Um, but a lot of people aren't like that. A lot of people, yeah. even if they feel like pretty negative or like they don't. Um, and I didn't. Yeah. You can yeah. They don't like trans people. They're not going to say it, especially if they're on the left, because. If they're a leftist content creator and they say, like, trans people are groomers, their career is over immediately. Yeah, well, with that tweet, again, like, I responded asking who it was because I just wanted to know. Like, I didn't even think it was about me until you implied it was about me. So, like, I don't yeah. know, like, honestly, like listening to all of this, like, besides the mistake of me, like, leaking tipsters DMs without asking him, like, I don't know. I think you fucked up more than me, but. Um, because you're just assuming a lot of things just, about I me. I never was, assumed anything about you. I think I just think it was like a misunderstanding all around, like a huge misunderstanding. I mean, but I, think I don't think a misunderstanding should escalate to someone falsely calling me a transphobe. Like, like I, I do think she. I understand the reasons, but I do think she went over the line, right? Because I you thought can talk you, now. Oh no, I thought you said that already. That you you already have a pretty negative opinion of me, and I know that your friends do as well. Like you were talking about, like that one group chat. So obviously, it would make sense for me to assume like our interactions would be in bad faith, right? Did I say I had a negative view of you? Didn't I say this? They did. I don't hmm. know. I just I just uh, I've just heard things. I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, think... still, you came at me unprovoked. You just came at me unprovoked, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was mad. I feel like I'm justified in being mad in the way that the community has treated me over the last but year. It's like putting I, that it's, it's, on it's... me 
but it's it's, it's, it's not it's, fair. It's, it's like I said, I can agree with you, Ball Blacks, that it probably wasn't fair to like put that on you. But again, you have to like understand her perspective that she but, has so many people constantly coming at her, so she's going to be defensive. That that's all I'm also, trying to say is you can understand. You you can understand. I think that there's from. um. And I, I have people there's... coming at me calling me fucking all sorts of shit because of this fucking DM leak or this uh, account leak. You know, so it's like, I don't know, we all have to deal with shit online. Like, we should treat people as individuals and not as like an extension of a group. For sure, but as much as we can recognize that people are individuals, group dynamics do influence individual people's behavior. Like, people are going to play along with what the group dynamic is because they don't want to get uh, ostracized from that group. I can speak with that from personal that... experience. When I was a part of the commentary community, there were behaviors I had engaged in that I wouldn't previously engage in just because it's like, oh, well, that's like what we do in this community. So, like, I can totally understand, like, what she's saying. There are things that I did and I participated yeah. in when I was a part of that community that I look back at and I'm not proud of. I'm not proud of the fact that I engaged in those behaviors. But it was, like she said, it's like a group dynamic. I mean, people do you're influence each other, the, for sure. Yeah, you're influenced but by the people around you. that account, no, even Nick and Augie and shit didn't know it existed. They were freaking out on Twitter about it, too. Uh, jokingly saying it's like funny or whatever. And like uh, all those tweet, a lot of those tweets are from before I even met them. So it's like, and, and again, it was just me playing like a character. I never believed any of those. I don't want to fuck Joe Biden, you know? So it's like, <laughs> do you have a source to back up that claim? Yeah. We need to see proof that you don't want to fuck Joe Biden. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it. I think it's pretty much been cleared up that it's, it's a big misunderstanding, and I think that it was probably a good idea to have this conversation to sort. Of I out. think there's also this. Um, I think there's this assumption about me, and I understand where it comes from. Um, that a lot of people in the commentary community they see me as this like nasty platformer that I want to ruin everyone's career, and that I want to like make everyone who crosses me in some insignificant way suffer, and that's really not true like i mean if you take what happened today and just look at it at face value it kind of does look true i mean how is this different from other internet beef in the commentary community people don't immediately call each other transphobes based on tweets that are like two years old or four years old on alt accounts and it, most people in commentary don't jump to conclusions calling people like pedos or transphobes or whatever. Unless Wait, like you don't think that proof. people in the commentary community don't immediately assume people are pedophiles based on limited evidence? One of Augie's <laughs> first interactions with me was calling me a pedophile. I don't I think Augie legitimately know... thinks you're a pedophile. I mean, not now, but this is what you're saying. People just jump the moment that they're handed that because it's like an instant w if you have even the slightest amount of proof no matter how flimsy it is well i don't have an encyclopedia on everything anyone has ever said in the commentary community but just because the commentary community does something bad of like saying you're a pedo when you're not doesn't mean you can now call me a transpho when i'm not oh yeah wait no this is like true. Aren't two bads don't up, make like, a right hipster? Haven't people been bringing up the tipster lolly stuff again, just like out of nowhere as an own? Yeah, and like Augie that's said, a... um, didn't you debate Augie, and uh, you came to the conclusion that like he never called you a pedo? I remember a conversation with her and Bosch. Oh, and that Augie. one. Yeah, yeah. I think. I mean, he was really tip. I, as far as I remember, he basically. He basically said, well, you know, stay away from minors. But I don't actually remember how that ended. I just know that um, I, I think what, what I remember that, from the um, conversation was, okay, you can say. Yeah, yeah, what I remember from the conversation was something along the lines of like, he said that he wasn't insinuating you were a pedophile. And then you just disagreed that you didn't you didn't believe him. That's kind of like how it ended, if I remember correctly. I thought the argument was just about uh, Keffel's keeping her Discord 18 plus. 
I, I, I don't know. I don't remember the specifics of that. I just remembered like at one point in the conversation, she's saying, well, you insinuated I was a pedophile. And he says, well, that's not what I was doing. And then she said, well, I don't believe you. I don't know. Like. Keffel. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, we're going really off track. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're getting kind of. But like, I, I feel like. I'm saying that Keffel's was pretty unjustified in calling me a transphobe based on all this stuff that I mentioned. And, and it just she, seems like Keffel's could, just keeps bringing up excuses like, oh, well, but no, oh, you said see, this, oh, but Nick said this, oh, point. but... She already conceded on Yeah, that I know. Point. I know. Yeah. But I'm just saying. Yeah, no, I, I, I feel... If you're part of a group, I feel like it's... It's not guilt by association to assume that you might agree with some of the stuff that they're saying. Especially when you won't, like... So... When you say stuff and Tipster's friends with you, and then people assume that Tipster endorses everything you say, you think that is like a fair assessment for them to make as well? What's an example of something that happened recently like that? I could tell you one. Uh, there was a, uh, you made a joke in response to Keemstar where you called him a pedophile and everybody got super mad about that. Like, well, why is, uh, you know, Tipster okay with them calling her a pedophile? And they started trying to dig up clips of like, can we find a clip of Tipster defending Keemstar's relationship with Brantley? And it's like, well, what does that have to do with anything? Yeah, I did defend his relationship with Brantley because there were like retards on the internet saying he was a pedophile for dating a 19 year old girl, which is legal fucking age, right? So what does that have to do me defending his relationship because it's not pedophilia? What does that have to do with Keffel's calling Keemstar a pedophile as a joke? Yeah, I mean, it's not pedophilia. I still think it's really gross, but it's not pedophilia. He's not legally doing anything wrong. So that's like an example of like, people were like well why isn't tipster like calling this out because she called keemstar a pedophile and it's like i i'm not <laughs> i'm not the i don't dictate what keffel but, says she's her own person yeah when keffel's con consistently like makes over exaggerations about what she thinks about people to the point of labeling them in that way and then people think that she's out to get everybody isn't that a fair assessment like who am i out to get Team star by calling him a pedo? Isn't that a fair assessment for someone to I make based on looking first, at that tweet? I'm not the first person to call him that. I am okay. far from the first Does that person to say change? that. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to like ruin his life or end his career by calling him something he's been getting called for a decade. I also don't think I also don't think it's a fair to like make a big deal about when she says it. Cause like there's definitely been cases where people in the commentary community have jokingly called people pedophiles and it's just, it's whatever. It's just kind of seen for what it is. It's a joke. Like I can't remember who it was, but I want to say like two years ago, there was somebody that Augie called a pedophile when he got really mad in an argument against him. I don't remember who that person was. It was like some like little try hard, small commentator. Right. Um, but to act like Keffels is the only one throwing around pedophile as a joke is pretty dishonest because a lot of people do that. I think this I is never what I was... said that. I just said that, like, it's reasonable to think but she's I, out I, to I get people think, when she's it's, labeling them kinda, like transphobes. And I do pedos. think it's kind of weird, though, to be like, oh, man, Keffels like called someone a pedophile. And it's like, well, you guys have done it, too, as a joke. I mean, when the lolly shit was happening, there were jokes made that insinuated I was a pedophile. And like people from the audience came away from that thinking that I was a pedophile who like consumes lollycon. Well, when Keffel's just called me and a transphobe this is, morning, this is what I tried was to explain that a joke? To Augie. This is what I try to explain to Augie. Sometimes when you guys joke about stuff, the dipshits in the audience don't get that it's a joke. And so, like, with that situation, they made a bunch of jokes about me defending Lollycon and shit like that. And so the audience came away from that thinking I was a Lollycon and a pedophile. Okay. But you could see why that you could see why that situation, like. I'm a, okay, I'm just going to be real, because when I had the conversation with Augie, I was trying to keep things cordial. I was trying to go my own way, but also keep things like we weren't leaving on bad terms. But I'm just going to be real. That's why the, the whole leaving the commentary community thing, that was the bridge burner for me. Because I'm like, okay, maybe you guys were joking, but the audience came away from that thinking I was a fucking pedophile. That was the bridge burner for me. That's why I decided I'm done. So now you guys don't have to question it anymore. Now you just know. 
Yeah, well, if anyone calls you a pedo, I'll go out of my way to say, hey, Tip's not a pedo, chill. But, um, so I haven't seen that. But, like, um, you you say, like, oh, well, Keffels makes jokes about pedos, too. Was Keffels calling me a transphobe today a joke? Didn't seem no, like it. I didn't make it as a joke. I, I don't like... So, like, uh, so joke, when I... people see those types of tweets and then say you're trying to, like, go after people and ruin them, isn't that like a fair assessment based on the tweet you made today about me? No, I don't think so. Like, I don't think that um, saying that automatically means that you're getting ruined or that I want to ruin you. I don't. Well, it won't like obviously like end my career completely, obviously, right? But saying that like I'm transphobic in front of like 100,000 people plus on Twitter is not helpful and is very damaging to me especially when i'm trying to share my uh beliefs in a community that you admit is a little too like right wing like i'm coming out sticking my neck out being oh, yeah, like hey no. i mean i'm pro trans like, or whatever and then you just call it a lie like that's kind of, to all the people who you know would appreciate me saying that like what's that gonna do just alienate all the pro trans people away from my audience and help me continue and then the only people left are like the transphobes i'll make a deal with you i will i will literally never say any anything uh like that ever again and i will be your number one fucking hype trans woman forever <laughs> if you actually call out leafy because it's like <laughs> he's calling for trans holocaust on his stream He's like dead naming me consistently. He's, he's like genuine, going after. He's genuinely said fucked up things on his stream. He's yeah, like going... I've, I've noticed. Um, you don't need to be commentary... a hype girl for me. You don't need to be a hype girl for me. But I will say, like, what Leafy is saying, even if it is a joke, which I don't know if it is or not, but even if it is, like, regardless, it's like fucked up. He's going like way too far. Uh, yeah, because the thing in... is, like, I understand like some people like make edgy jokes or whatever, but I don't think that a lot of times when they make those jokes, they realize that those jokes bolster the opinions of legitimately bad faith actors. I don't. Well, I think maybe Leafy what does the... realize that. I don't like what Leafy's doing at all, and I'll say that. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know if I have said that. I mean, I've always had that opinion, and I've said that in streams. I don't know if I've said it in private, public, whatever. But yeah, I'm comfortable saying that. Like, I'm not gonna lie about my opinions or whatever. But yeah, you don't need to be a, a hype girl for me on Twitter. You, you can just like... I'm Okay, I just... That's fucking based. Thank you. Because like the only thing I've seen the commentary community say so far was that one incident where Destiny talked about trying to de-platform Leafy from Rumble and like siding with Leafy. I haven't seen any condemnation and he's going so fucking far. Like... What was, yo, Bo Black, because I'll be honest, like, I have most of the commentary community blocked or muted at this point, so I have no idea what's going on. What was their take on what he did to Destiny's wife on stream? Uh, generally that it's, like, fucked up and it makes sense that he's mad at him for it, but he shouldn't get Leafy deplatformed for it. That's See, generally I, I, the I, take. I, I gotta be honest, I disagree. I think that that's ban-worthy. I genuinely think that's ban-worthy. That's a step way too fucking far. I wouldn't cry if Leafy got banned over it, but like, I mean, I don't, I don't like wanna, if it were me. Know. If, it were, if, it, if it, it were me in Destiny's shoes, I would one hundred percent be behind the scenes screaming to the person at Rumble, "Why are you allowing this to happen?" Yeah, my criticism of Destiny is that he said the reason he won't let have Leafy on is because he's. Uh, Clout hungry, clout hungry and trying to reestablish his audience, which I think is a cope. I think the real reason why he wouldn't want Leafy on is because of the leaking nudes and all the crazy trans shit he's saying. And that is a legitimate reason. But the reason he brought up, I think, in my opinion, is cope. And, and that was my entire argument. As for everything else, like, yeah, Leafy's definitely like going off the deep end. I don't like uh, how far he's going with the stuff he's saying and doing. But, um, but yeah. I mean, to yeah, be fair, I, I, I don't disagree with Destiny. I think that he is, like, doing whatever he can to, like, desperately cling on to any bit of clout that he has left. If he can make these outrageous like, and ridiculous statements and it makes him stay relevant, yeah, I think that's what he's doing. 
Because he was always like incredibly edgy, and right now the flavor of the gear for edginess is transphobia. And he's he's got like, he's gotten way uh, his comeback right now is ex way more edgy than he ever was in the past. I'll say that. I didn't used to watch his content, so I actually like I think I watched a few videos like in the the year he got banned, and yeah, I was nowhere near this. I do wonder mm -hmm. if he was always this edgy, and he was just dialing it back to try to not get banned and now that he's on rumble he's just like going full hog but i can only speculate my my feeling is that because the rumble audience is the way that it is they're so extreme i think he's just pandering to them that's my thought process on it but i don't know I yeah no idea. yeah no it's um this is sort of what i mean though with why i'm so defensive why i'm like quick to jump on things because i'm so used to all of these audiences being intermingled like you look at leafy's chat or like the streams that he does and his chat is full of people like spamming kiwi emotes it's full of groipers there are multiple swastika profile pictures he's watching neo-nazi documentaries on stream and talking to nick fuentes yeah, and then you have Froggy. Wild. Who's like, have you never watched one of these streams, Bull Blacks? I watched. Uh, I watched one of them, They're and I did not like wild. what I saw. Yeah, it's it's insane. Some of the shit that he does on these fucking streams, like <laughs> holy shit! Any other platform he would have been on, he would have been long gone by now. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I basically uh, had to make a rule of just like non engagement with him because he's really obsessed with me for some reason um and uh like i i decide not to engage he followed me back on twitter i blocked him he's still like doing streams about me um he did one just last night didn't he just last night he did another stream on you right yeah it was just like last night and i just really wish the commentary community would say something but it's like that same attitude that i was so critical of um where like for instance with tom he will be incredibly critical of me but then he will have null the founder of kiwi farms on his stream and then treat him with kid gloves even though null is implicated in multiple people's suicides he won't even touch the topic he won't try and refute the topic even though these are very well documented circumstances. Well, I don't know anything about that, honestly, so I can't comment on it. But uh Yeah, I don't I don't know. I mean we we could keep talking, but a lot of the stuff is like out of my realm of knowledge. So uh you know, and I, I do have other stuff to do today, so I'm gonna hop off. But uh yeah, good talk, I guess. Yeah, I think yeah this no. conversation was super productive. All right. See you guys. Bye. Later. All righty then. Well, that went pretty Hi. good, right? Wait, did I get booted too? Am no, I no, still you're here? still here. You're still here. Okay. What are you up to at um, the moment? It's probably like crazy late for you or something. Oh, right? yeah. It's like uh, midnight in Ireland. Jeez. I just got in from like hanging out with my family. Tomorrow I'm hanging out with my mom for her birthday. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Hopefully that's fun then. I that was interesting. Yeah, that went a lot better than I thought it was. Well, because like when when I first called him in, <laughs> I DM'd him and I'm like, "You need to get on my stream right now because I'm fucking mad, dude." I was really mad that uh, he leaked my DMs and like so. It's the conversation started really hot, but as things kind of calmed down and he kind of started explaining the way he felt, I was like, "Well, why don't you just talk to Keffels then? Like, I can bring her in and like if she's down, like we can have a conversation." So. I think it was ultimately pretty good that that happened. I found it interesting that like when it came to the topic of like Leafy, he starts he started getting on and and just in case he ends up clipping this or someone clips and send it to him, I'm not calling him transphobic or asking for his, like his career to end. This is not what I'm doing. I'm just trying to analyze the situation a bit. I found it interesting that he started getting uncomfortable on the topic of con condemnations of Leafy mm -hmm. or talking about like how his friends specifically treat me. Because yeah. he, he doesn't want to weigh in because he knows like if he weighs in, this is going to end up on like RFC or something.
Yeah, like it could potentially like rock the boat. And these things happen. I can speak from this for experience where like I'll have a different take on something than the rest of the group. And it's like, well, Tipster's like a fucking retard. And that becomes like a conversation for like a week or whatever of like Tipster had this bad take that we disagree with. So these things happen. And I'm not necessarily saying that's why Bo Blacks is kind of approaching the subject with kid gloves. Because I don't know. I don't want to assume how he feels or what he thinks. But um it's not inconceivable to think that that may be the case. Well, that's why, and I've said this before, I think that's why they treated you the way that they did. Like, they want to make an example of people who they perceive as stepping out of line. Yeah. Bolex in the chat says, I'm not just uninformed. I I'm just uninformed. Uh, I'm not scared of saying anything because of friend backlash. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. But uh, I, I do I think for life. some people, those things happen, though, where a lot of people are afraid to get out of line and they're afraid to say certain things because they feel like. I it's... mean, to be fair, like I would also be afraid if I had never been on the receiving side of Kiwi Farms to say something about what I was just talking about. Mm hmm. I mean, I can be completely honest now looking at certain situations. There's like certain topics that I had a different opinion of than the guys. And I just rather than kind of sharing my different opinion and dealing with like, well, am I really in the mood to get like shit on because I think differently than them? I just didn't touch the topic at all. There were topics I stayed away from because I'm just like, I don't want any. I don't want to deal with that shit right now. So in the past, that's definitely happened. Yeah, I think one thing for me is that my audience doesn't intermingle basically at all with the commentary community. So like, I don't know if I get on their bad side, it doesn't actually affect me. Yeah, for sure. Well, anyway, it's getting kind of late over there. You, yeah, are you I should go to bed. You should probably go to bed, but thanks for coming on. We got to hang out more often. Oh, yeah, no, this was nice. Yeah, I set up a, a server for like trusted callers because sometimes I have downtime on my streams where people can that I'm friendly with can just call in. Uh, I'll send you an invite link to that server and you're welcome to hop in anytime if you ever want. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed the John Tron debate. Yeah, we listened to a little bit of it. I mean, obviously, I, I watched that live when it happened. Um, so this isn't my first time seeing it, but it was kind of fun revisiting it again tonight. I remember watching you when you revisited it too. So, yeah. Yeah. all right well i'm gonna let you go get get some sleep damn it okay peace all out right. peace oh chat i gotta be honest i didn't think that was gonna go as well as it did because i'm gonna be honest i was pretty fucking mad when i started that conversation with bow blacks i was pissed dude because i'm like god damn it why is it every time i'm friends with someone that like gets into drama. I get dragged into this shit. So that's why I was like really mad. Um, but I'm glad we had that conversation. I think that some miscommunications between, uh, you know, myself and Bo Blacks and then also Keffels and Bo Blacks were able to be resolved. And then also it gave me kind of an opportunity to kind of open up about some things that have bothered me uh, in the past. And rather than just kind of let it linger, just like be honest about it, you know? So I don't know. I think that was pretty good. Thank you.